designed and built a home to be naturally warm in winter and cool in summer, a comfortable home that saves money and is better for the environment. These two short videos explain how. The first video looks at building to take advantage of the world's most significant energy source, the sun. Each square metre of sunlight provides us with up to a thousand watts of energy on a summer's day. That's the equivalent heat to what a radiator like this provides, each square metre. By following some straightforward rules when designing and building, we can capture this free energy in winter when we need it, and block it out in summer when we don't. The position of the sun varies throughout the seasons. In winter, the sun moves across the northern sky at a relatively low angle of elevation. In summer, the sun is high in the sky and almost directly overhead at midday, but at a low angle in the east and west in the morning and afternoon. So what should we do to make the most of the changing position of the sun? Let's look at glazing, shading and building layout. Normal glass allows up to 90% of the sun's heat directly into the house. As a result, the location, size and type of glass is a critical aspect of design. As a general rule, install more glass on the north facade where it is easy to let in the winter sun, and less on the east and west where it is difficult to block out the hot summer sun in the morning and the afternoon. The Solar Heat Gain Coefficient, or SHGC, is a measure of the amount of solar heat that passes through the glass. The higher the SHGC, the greater the heat that passes through. So in temperate climates, install glazing with a high SHGC on the northern side of the house to allow the winter sun in. In summer, it is the glazing on the east and west which is exposed to the sun. So install shading, and if that's not possible, use low SHGC glazing to keep the solar heat out. Check the words label to help select the right glazing. It contains the SHGC at the bottom of the label, as well as other measures such as U-value. Watch the next Building for Comfort video for more information on new values. High performance glazing is important, but especially on the east and west. External shading will be even more effective. On the east and west, horizontal shading such as eaves do not block any summer sun at lower angles. So shading must be vertical, with good options being shutters, pull down awnings, shade cloth and vegetation. On the northern side, horizontal shading such as eaves will sufficiently block the direct summer sunlight, whilst allowing the low angled winter sun to get in. As a rule of thumb, shading should extend out no more than half the height of the window. Adjustable shading is a good option, allowing occupants to control solar heat gain depending on comfort at any time of the day, in any season. Deciduous vegetation is also useful, as it shades well in summer, but lets the winter sun in. Such options may be used to block summer glare which has bounced off outside objects. The sun also heats up roofs and walls, which will eventually transfer heat into the house. Shading of east and west sides of the building using vegetation can be very effective at keeping the house cool in summer months. Colours of the roofs and walls affect how much of the sun's energy that is reflected or absorbed. So in cold climates, choose darker colours to absorb solar heat and choose lighter colours in warmer climates to reflect solar heat. The building's shape and orientation will have a big impact on its comfort. If you have any role in design, here are some tips. North facing areas are a good spot for living areas. Locating the garage or laundry on the western side will create a heat barrier to the rest of the house in summer afternoons. A longer northern layout allows more solar gain in winter than summer. If the block has a narrow northern aspect, other solutions exist. For example, this house has been split into two sections, providing every room with north facing glazing. So, to build with the sun in mind, allow sunshine through glazing in winter, shade glazing in summer and plan the building layout to take advantage of the northern aspect. The next video looks at other things you might consider if you want to build for comfort. For more information, download the fact sheet at tradesecrets.org.au.
In the last video, we looked at how to build with the sun in mind. In this video, we look at how to design and build building envelope to resist variations in outdoor temperature. Houses in temperate Australia must deal with a wide range of temperatures. When there is a difference between the indoor and outdoor temperature, heat will flow through the building envelope. The greater the temperature difference, the greater the heat flow. In winter, heat will be lost from the building and in summer it will be gained. To reduce the heat transfer, it's crucial to have insulation in the roof and walls, and also beneficial to insulate timber floors. Insulation keeps heat inside in winter and stops heat getting inside in summer. The R value is a measure of how well the insulation will reduce heat flow. The higher the R value, the better the performance. The regs might ask for a system R value or an added R value, so you need to know the difference. The timber, brick and plasterboard also have an R value, which can be added to the R value of the insulation to give a system R value. The R value of the insulation itself is called the added R value. Only system R values are quoted for reflective insulation, as it depends on how and where it is installed. Getting the glazing right is critical for ensuring indoor comfort. The words label contains all the information to make an informed choice. Look not only at the star ratings, but at the U value, which tells you the level of the insulation. The lower the U value, the better the insulation. This is the opposite way around to R value of insulation. Standard 3mm glazing has a U value of about 6, which allows up to 10 times more heat through than an insulated wall. This home uses double glazed windows with a U value of 3. High performance glazing, such as low E double glazing, has even lower U values. Other measures on the label such as SHGC are also important, so do not base your decision on U value alone. See the previous video for information on this. And it's crucial you install glazing that complies with the building code and planning approval. Frames are an important consideration. Choose only timber frames or aluminium frames with a thermal break, which is a layer of insulation to reduce heat transfer through the frame. A well insulated building envelope is of little use if it's not well sealed. A leaky house might have 20 air changes per hour. The air inside gets replaced every few minutes. Drafts like this are a problem in cold weather and also in hot weather. Make sure you've got good seals on doors, windows, chimneys, exhaust fans, and recessed downlights. There'll be still enough fresh air to keep people healthy. Ventilation can provide effective cooling when the outside temperature is cooler than the inside. Allow cross ventilation by locating openings on opposite sides with minimal obstructions in between. This will allow in breezes on cool summer nights to flush out the trapped heat. Design and orientate your building to capture prevailing breezes and choose windows with a large openable area. But ventilation can't cool a building on hot days, so it's good to have insulation and draft proofing that let you seal the building and keep heat out. This avoids or reduces energy needed for air conditioning. With a well insulated, sealed and ventilated home, thermal mass can even out maximum and minimum temperatures inside a building over 24 hours. Mass doesn't create heat, it just stores and then releases. In winter you need mass exposed to sunlight, which will warm up through the day and then release warmth in the evening once the sun is gone. In summer, mass absorbs heat from the air to keep the temperature down during the day, and it releases it at night when it can be flushed out by cool breezes. A concrete slab or internal masonry walls are the easiest ways to provide effective thermal mass. A slab on the ground takes advantages of the Earth's mass to even out indoor temperatures throughout the year. So, to design and build a comfortable home, insulate to reduce heat gain and loss, use seals to prevent drafts, provide openings for cross ventilation, and use mass to even out the temperatures. As you can see, it doesn't have to cost more to build a lower energy home, just a little bit of know-how. For more information, download the fact sheet at tradeseekers.org.au